an international team of researchers are focused on the Gulf of Mexico. There we go. These are some of their stories, intimate portraits of research, innovation, discovery. I'm Matt Damon. Please join me on a journey marked by unexpected twists and turns. My name is Kristen Dahl. I'm a PhD student at University of South Alabama working at Dauphin Island Sea Lab. I grew up around nature uh, with parents that were keeping us outside and in the ocean all the time. I grew up on the Gulf Coast, I'm on the panhandle of Florida, but watching National Geographic and Discovery Channel at a young age and watching uh, journalists and researchers from that age got me really interested in just working outside and working with animals and nature. I went through grade school in the Panhandle of Florida. I did really well in high school and I wanted to perform well so that I could get into college and get a scholarship. I went to University of West Florida and got a marine biology degree. I've been here for about three years working on my PhD with lionfish. Lionfish in the northern Gulf of Mexico are a relatively new species. Um, they recently invaded in 2010, and in that time we found a lot of special things with relation to them in this new area, first of which is their populations have expanded at just an incredible rate, um, faster than anywhere in the invaded range where they've reached. They're eating such a broad array of fish and invertebrates, including their own species. We've found cannibalism using the DNA barcoding process. There's no native predators. Some of my research includes looking at lionfish growth as well as their age and changes in growth in relation to age over time. So this includes taking uh, biological samples from lionfish. It is a little bit like forensics. I hadn't really thought about that too much. I guess I'm a fish detective. The future of lionfish, I think that they're going to continue to establish populations and new areas in the western Atlantic. Um, they continue to be sighted in new areas. Uh, they've already inhabited the entire northern Gulf of Mexico, now moving into the western Gulf of Mexico. However, there's a lot of positive impacts from targeted efforts to remove them locally. That includes establishing a fishery and an interest in people eating them as a food fish. Um, so I do see some potential to reduce their populations in that way, and especially to increase uh, the public's awareness of lionfish as an issue. Today, the scientific community is working together to push the boundaries of what they've learned about oil spills and what still needs to be discovered.